Um, Super Wild Card Weekend, the first Wild Card Weekend where there will be a game played on Monday night. Mm. Um, Saturday, Sunday night football. Let's start with Saturday. Let's get into it. Raiders at Bengals. On to Cincy Austin. No rest for the wicked. (laughs) You throwing it over to me first. Well, Tyler, again, I'm unable to pick the Raiders. No no matter how well they played tonight, how how good they looked against a a solid Chargers team. It's X-Factor, Max Crosby, offense, it's Derek Carr. I'm going with the Raiders on this one. It's game over. Yeah. (laughs) Next game we got on Saturday, Patriots at Bills rematch. For the third time, I guess you could say, uh, AFC East rivals. Austin, I'll, I'll go first. Um, this is an easy one for me. A lot of bad losses the Patriots have had. Um, but I think I have to go with the Bills on this one. Go. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you on this one. Um, you know, in, in the pick and in your reasoning why. I just feel like the inexperience of Mac Jones is definitely going to factor in. Uh, First game, Eagles at Bucks. Uh, I think this is a rematch. I feel like the Eagles faced the Bucks earlier this season. If not, I might I be. The, did the Eagles win that game? No, I think they lost by uh, like 28 seven. 22 Bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is an easy pick for me, Austin. I'll go first. Um, I'm riding with the Bucks on this one. The two seed, they're they're hot right now. But at the end of the day, it's Tom Brady. I don't, you know, I'd be wasting breath if I tried talking around that and really said more things other than it's Tom Brady. Yeah. Uh, next game, we got Niners at Cowboys, like you aforementioned. Uh, Austin, I need you to go first on this one just, just because I, I need to hear your reasonings on everything. Mm-hmm. I'm unsure about this game. I, I love the Niners, like you said. I also think the Cowboys are somewhat legit, but who do you got? They've done enough throughout the year and put himself into this position to to win this football game. Yeah. Um, I I wanted to pick the Niners. I just I, I couldn't know, do it. I know you did, and you know what? I will for you. Oh wow! Um, so next game we got final game on Sunday night: Steelers at Chiefs, Austin. Although I do want to pick the Steelers on this one because, you know, it would be a real shame if the Steelers won and, uh, you know, the the Raiders won too. Mm -hmm. Obviously going up, whoever wins those games is going up against King Henry and the Titans. Um, But I'm going to ride with the Chiefs on this one in Arrowhead, probably one of the toughest and loudest places to play. Yeah, it would be cool to say, oh, Roethlisberger's last season, you know, get a big upset, maybe win a couple games, AFC Championship, whatever. I just don't see it happening. The Chiefs are too good. Chiefs are too good of a football team. You know, last time they faced off earlier in the year, Tyler, the Chiefs won thirty six to ten. I think this game will be a little bit closer. However, I think the Chiefs come out victorious. Um and last game we got Monday night football, the first Monday night football game in wild card history. Cardinals at Rams. Uh the third the trilogy, if you will, of of this uh Th- these two teams uh also i'll allow you to go first okay. i've gone first the past few times who do you got in this game and why on monday night obviously these two teams you know divisional rivals they played twice already this year they split the games both coming off of a loss however i think in this one the more well-rounded team is the los angeles chargers um, you know, we Rams. talked about it or yeah, Rams, excuse me, <laughs> got the Chargers. Um, you know, Stafford, it's going to come down to how he plays, but I think I would give McVeigh the slight edge over Kingsbury right now, um, with the weapons he has and obviously how to scheme against that front, you know, Kyler Murray, we talk about him all the time, Tyler, I, you know, I don't know if it's, you know, the height type deal or, you know, it just is sporadic play style. Um, you know, he's either like, you know, an all or nothing type guy. You love him or hate him. He has these crazy dynamic performances. And on the other side of it, he has these games where you're shaking your head and like, what's going on? I think it'll be a clash of Titans. I think this will be a good game. I think it'll be high scoring. Um, it's going to come down to defense for me. I think these offenses are, you know, pretty equal. I think the Rams have a little bit better defense. And at the end of the day, for me, that's what it's going to come down to. Yeah, 
I'm going to agree with you on this one. I'm, I'm riding with the, the Rams on this. Although, you know, we're going to need to see way more out of Kyler Murray than we have seen in weeks past. 